Animals. God, I love watching those things. I don't. It cracks me up when the kids hate it, when it's like, I wanted a little sister. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Oh, general. we'll go ahead and fix that for you, son. <laughs> I like the general reveals where they get all stupid and people freaking like fall off the cliff and yeah or or the thing boings out the bottom of it it hits him in the nuts yeah i like that part <laughs> <laughs> okay it's working hi kathy oh we're it's on. on live chat yep it's on see y'all talking you don't even know i'm on already did they catch hits him in the nuts part yeah <laughs> hi lady liberty hi amber hi rainbows hi bob <laughs> Hi, Rodrigo. Wow. Of course they did, duh. I'll get you the Hi, link. Kevin. Let me make sure I put this on live chat. Jamila's pulling Wait, a How are you doing, James? How are you? Aloha. Jamila's doing a cartman. I can't get ready to Hi, die. Andrew. Hi, Grawl. Andrew, Grawl. Hey, Grawl. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Your sister's here. Hey, Angela. Yes. Hi, Tanea. Hi, Natsu. Her dog just turned one yesterday. Happy birthday, Lola. Aw, happy birthday. Thank you, Demillon. I got a mute. You're welcome. Sorry, people. I'm trying to wick and like say hellos. I only got one more to go. One, two, three. Only got one more. To, well, one more to take apart and then wick. Let's see. Where are we? Uh, Hello from Vienna, Mixunu. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yel Galange from the Philippines. Welcome. Oh, Terry, the Terry Picker, Pickering. Oh, I know what I'm trying to say. Um, my mouth just doesn't want to work with me. You ever had that problem? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Hi, D. Bailey. How are you? Advocate for Liberty. How you doing, Fred? Hi, how are you? Hi, Amber. Queen Honey Bunny. How you doing? Amber. Hi, Queen. Galange, that's what I'm going to call you, Galange, because it just makes it sound so fancy. Harry's Inns, how are you doing? Free Hi, Rider, Jane. ooh, love that Free Rider, yeah. Hey, James. James. Liz, how are you doing, honey? How you been? Nice seeing, oh, that's awesome, Rodrigo. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I got to dry this out for a second. Rodrigo. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do to the melon, Wendy? Hey, hey, that's what we do with these names, you know? It's like when people are telling me, like, they'll come in here and I'm like, I'm going to say it however I'm going to say it, or that's too much. I'm going to shorten your name. Hi, Dakota. <laughs> hi, Kim. Hi, Breno. Hi, Dakota. Understand. Cherokee. Hey, Cherokee. Uh, thank you so much, Mixuno. Kristen. Hey, Dakota. This is going to be the best one yet, Wendy, I can tell already. Oh, yes, I am the best one yet. You're right. I'm your favorite. How do you uh, <laughs> re-wick your Addy so fast? Mine is like a whole procedure where I have to like burn the coils off and then clean That's it all out. Now. I'm burning my, well, I'm emptying mine of cotton, then I'm burning them, and then I just put the cotton through. But doesn't all the stuff go flailing all over? I have to like do it in the sink and everything. No. Whenever you see some in there, just hold a napkin over it and just blow. But make sure you got glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I blow it when I'm not firing it. Of course I am, free rider. Why wouldn't I be? Hi, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Kev, how you doing, sweetie? We were kind of getting a little bit of pre-show action there, Wendy, for a second. Well, you know, until you kept saying I'm running out of time, I'm not going to do it faster. I do it in my own time. <laughs> if I want them out longer, they stay out longer. That's it. Oh, my God. This week went by so fast. Can't believe it's Monday again already. Are you kidding oh, me? Yeah? You have no idea. I worked so long this, this past week. It was like the days just, I didn't even get time to sleep. It was like by so the time you I feeling? wound down to go to sleep, it was time to get up. How are you feeling? Tired still, still yeah. very tired. Um, but the other day, because my mom was here actually last week. Did she um, wear the shirt? Yeah, she did, because she's not allowed to wear it in Indiana. <laughs> 
for those of you that are wondering, I'm I had a shirt made with my picture on it and it says my favorite. <laughs> my sister wouldn't let her wear it in Indiana. So she had to wear it here, which it takes the, the whole purpose, the de defeats the whole purpose because I wanted her to wear it in front of my sister because I am the favorite. She just doesn't know it. But um, no, no, oh, I'm really not. But uh, anyways, <laughs> well, you oh are, my you God, are, tell me how are. I finally found out from my daughter that had a conversation with my mom, what happened with my father? Ooh. You can't say that and not continue Skeleton i am like profit? because i'll start crying so i don't i don't want okay, to yeah don't go there but it's i all my life i was told one thing and it turned out to be another so i was actually without a father for absolutely no reason basically you what i was without a father growing up for no reason my mom always told me he didn't want me and that was a lie oh my god that's fucked my up. whole life that's fucked wow up. Yep. That's so I found that out this weekend. Um, so that was kind of, you know, I just try to hold it in. But yeah, so one thing about me and my kids is I never badmouthed their father in front of them and I never kept them from them. As long as I wanted to see them, that was fine. It didn't matter my feelings or what had happened to me. It was always about the child. And I literally spent all my life and I'm past being an adult to find this out crazy yep because um i i didn't even know who he was until i was like 12 11 or 12 and i threatened to run away to find my father and then she introduced me to him and he he worked across the street where i grew up oh what a trip yeah and it just i never got to see him so that was that. And then when I got to be an adult and I had my two kids, I went to go find him. But he kept saying, you know, I kept asking him, why would you do that to me? And this and that. And he goes, you need to talk to your mom. You need to talk to your mom. I talked to my mom. She told me the same story she always did. And I was like, wow, he's just trying to, you know, skirt all this through, you know, and blame somebody else. And yeah, it was, it was her. And she still hasn't told me. My daughter knows. My daughter got it out of her. My mom still to this day has not told me. Is he still alive? I don't know. I don't know now. So that that was my weekend, and that kind of sucked ass. Well, it's never too late, Wendy. Well, not if he's alive. No, the thing is, is that I did run into him a couple of times, but every time I want to know why, you know, I want to know why. It, it's just... It's always been, you know, just tell me why. Just tell me what I did or, you know, what happened. Just, I just want to know why. Why would you be without me all these years? You had two other kids from another marriage. You were in their life. Why not me? Turns well, out it was my mom. <laughs> I can't imagine being without you. I know. Thank you. He's, it's uh, just, he's, it's. He would never badmouth my mom, though. When the two times that I got to see, or three times I, I, I found him to go see him because I'd have to search for him and do all the, you know, FBI stuff to try to find where he's living, find out where he's living. He's like, how'd you find me? Gotcha. Hello. I'm a female. We can find anything if we want to. <laughs> and, um, yeah, come to find out that it was my mom the whole time. Wow. It just sucks because those were years I could have been with him, you know? Those were years that I could have tried to develop a relationship, but every time that I kept seeing him, I kept thinking he left me, you know? He doesn't really care. He's just talking to me because I found him, you know? But you were just a kid and they were adults. It doesn't matter. It's like he never reached out to find me. So it was always me trying to find him. He lived in a house and I found out that he moved because I went to go find him in the house again and he was already gone. <laughs> so then I had to do searches and searches and try to find him again. Then I found him again and I found him and I talked to him, but it was, it was just, it, it was because of the fact that he would never speak up about what really happened. And my mom would never tell me. 
it always left it like, okay, you just, you're just making up an excuse now, or you don't want to, you don't want the blame or, you know. Yeah. Kind of sounds like your mom didn't want you to know him. No, she didn't. Well, it looks like you're getting a lot of love and chat. Uh, thank you guys. It just hurts to find that out. Yeah, it does. Well, and of course, nice. I found out after she left, so. <laughs> well, look him up. It's never too late to have a relationship with him. If he's still around, you never know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But I'll look again. Eventually, I'm going to look again. I just have to get over the hurt first because, you know, he could have spoke up too. But I know that he didn't because he didn't want to, like, say anything against what she, because he didn't know what she told me, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Hey, Chevy. Aw, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Chevy. My mom, and she hates me always. Uh, oh, my God. My mom has always been, I've had a bad childhood when it came to my mom. My mom was, and I, I don't know why, if she did what she did, why she hated me so much compared to my sister. Because I know that she was in love with my sister's dad. But she apparently, I don't know what happened with my dad. And all the stories she told me are not true anymore. So, like everything that I thought I knew, I don't know. Thank you, guys. Don't ever do that to your kids, though. No, hell no. I, I mean, every kid deserves both parents unless, unless you know, the... They're abusive the or something. Yeah, even right, as an adult. Right. You don't have to be a kid to... Or at least when they come of age, at least tell them the truth. But, oh, we're going to get over this because you know why, guys? Because I have some, a package. So we're going to be going over that. Let me just stop this whole freaking hate mail. What you got, Wendy? What you got? Hold up. Let me take these things off. Oh, it's really hard trying to get to this with, with them on. And this new teal eyeliner, if you want to know where hey, I got it, hey, you Wendy, can watch my other channel. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a little upset with your beauty channel. I know. We didn't get any palettes this time. No, I did get a palette. I know I did. I have three other videos that I'm editing and putting out. Is it the luminescent, shiny, shimmery stuff? Of course. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have shimmer. Do you, do you do those cat eye things at the end of your eye? Eyes? Oh, no, I used to be able to, but now I have like, um, I grew up making them because I came from Miami. So we always had the big eyeliner, you know, the cat, wing. <laughs> but, um, I can't anymore because I have like, I guess my eye droops here now and I won't hold the freaking wing. Oh. So it looks more like this than like this. <laughs> you got crooked bat wings. Uh, thank you advocate for Liberty. So yeah. I'm telling you, wait till you see what's up. If you got, especially for the females here, if you like uh, makeup unboxings, you need to check out my second channel because I've got three more coming. I just did the boxy charm for the base box for May. I have the premium box for May coming, the Ipsy Glam Bag X, and the Fashion Stuff, the box from Fashion Stuff that is April's, but it was late. <laughs> Now, how come they, you were saying and stressing that the brushes were vegan? Like, why wouldn't a brush be vegan? Be because they write it, you have to read it. But they I are know, vegan. But it, like, what would be a non-vegan brush? Tested Probably, on animals. Like hemp, hemp or something. Yeah. Well, the 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 cruelty free is testing on animals. The vegan is what they're made with and the materials that they use and stuff like that. But. Oh, so they don't use like a uh, animal real, hair? Real fur, right? No. I knocked oh, okay. out. So let's see what we got in the box. Hi, knocked out. Let me see who else. Michelle. I'm so sorry. I missed everybody. Here I, I am over here blubbering. Karen, Wendy, um, Becca. By the way, I got uh, bit by something and look at that. It won't go away. It freaking itches. What do you Arnie, do? how you doing, sweetie? You hit your funny bone? No, it was like a big ass, but I don't think it was a mosquito, but something really, really bit me and it hurts. But anyway, okay, so let me show you because I already wicked everything. Let me show you. The link isn't working, Addie. Oh, uh, your beauty thing? Yeah, see if you. What hold on, I'll try it. Let me try uh, I'll find, it. I'll find it. Yeah, it's coming up is not found. 
I'll get, I'll get a new link in there. Okay, thank you. Thank Delete you. Uh, when I eat brushes, I prefer vegan. <laughs> Thanks, Hi, Michelle. Michelle. Kenzie, how you doing, sweetie? Um, I love you too, Michelle. Let's see now. I don't think it would matter if they use horse hair because. Uh, thank you, Kev. I work hard to make sure that shit stays. It takes me too long to put it on. Terry Vapor, how you doing? Sheboygan. Wendy loves Sheboygan back. Sheboygan. Hi, Terry. Sheboygan. Sheboygan. What did I just see? Oh, yeah. That's it. It's okay. I'll, I mean, I'll be, I'll get over it. Hi, David. I'll get past it. It's just that it's really fresh still. <laughs> and I honestly haven't talked about it since I found out Saturday, you know, when I went to go get my nails done. <laughs> oh, yes. Those are beautiful. Hi, Arnie. Which reminds me, I really need some freaking. Um, oh, Chris has said maybe it's a spider bite. I, no, but it was something like, um, because I seen it flying around and it was landed on my leg and it went like this and I was like, wow, that was a little chunky. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> but let me just because my my fingers feel dry from all that hand washing that we do. Oh my my fingernails are always my hands itself are always dry. Man, that battery got down to three point six. No wonder it was a little weak. Ooh, a little weak. So just give me a second to put some stuff. I never on got into Mex at all. Huh? I, I never got into mechs. They, they scare me. Oh, that's better. I like mechs. I like big mechs and cannot fly. <laughs> you gotta and you're not. Hi, timekeeper. Hi, Erwin. Well, that was actually my song growing up anyways. <laughs> because I had the big butt. <laughs> that one, and then there was a, a song, a Spanish song. Well, it was really like, um, it was a fast-paced song, but it, in Spanish, it was culo. Because I have a big butt. So, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I, I got. Can you see? That's my the, cool the Wonder Flavors. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's some flavors that I was running low on, which was the Yes Sweet Cheesecake, which I didn't notice until last week when we were mi mixing that cake. The Yellow Cake from Flavor West. So, those are just re ups. And then I did pick up two from one. Um, they had um, one on one on um, Bull City. They had sweet ice cream and vanilla ice cream. So I got those because I was like, oh, it's one on one. So got those. And then I got the whole Wonder Flavor packet. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the flavors that they are, but I wasn't familiar with them. So we're definitely going to be using them tonight because I'm very, very excited because I yeah. haven't been able to make any recipes because I didn't get them. So I finally went and they finally had them in stock. I got the email, went back online, got them. And it was so funny because I was actually ordering the re-ups and the email notification came on my phone as I was ordering it. So I just put in my cart, hurried up and paid and it was there. I was like, oh, yes. damn. Hey, timekeeper. Hi, timekeeper. So it was meant for me to get them finally. How about that Wendy's um, moist cake? Oh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. That's why I had to wick up four of these. But yeah, I want, so we gotta we gotta use these. Oh my god, the flavors in these. Oh my god, let me just read them out real quick. So we got mocha and cream. We've got margarita candy. I'm really really excited about this one. Mm -hmm. um, vanilla gelato, Italian chocolate frosting. I'm curious about that one. Grape candy sour. Gotta try that one eventually. Orange cream. Plum purple, got to try that one eventually. Uh, caramel salted, cotton candy, jelly bean. That one we got to try because DeMillan loves that. French vanilla thick. So many recipes are calling for that lately. And I'm so upset because I didn't have it. I was like, well, I can't make that because I don't know what it tastes like to try to make it, you know, comparable. And there's no notes on it. So I finally got that. I've got cedro. What kind of fruit is cedro? I think that's the like the citrus one. Yeah, it's okay. like a, it's, it's like a citrus. no. They have an orange citrus tangy. It's still and then a they've citrus got cedro, which is a fruit. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Then we've got salmiac licorice, salty. Yum. Black licorice. Um, yes. And then we've got watermelon candy, extra sour. Yeah. More of blackberry. 
Maple syrup candy. That one I'm kind of interested in too. I actually, there's a couple of these flavors that I tried to get. I almost purchased them because they only had a couple on the side, but most of them were sold out even individually. Gulab j- j- jamun. That's an um, Indian uh, donut, like a donut. Oh, okay, like yeah. A, it's like Indian spices. It's good. Oh wow, Nisporus fruit. I say no. Whipped cream fresh, root beer float gummy candy. Definitely need that one. That's a good cookie one. Cookie dough. Too. Well, who doesn't need some cookie dough? Wild berry gummy candy, pitaya, and Hawaiian punch. I'm really excited. Even the drink ones, I'm really excited about. Like, especially like a margarita. Yeah, please. I could definitely use that. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's um... get a gap when it's going to base and the coils are coming out of different homes. Yeah, Kathy, if that's happening, if you're getting a gap at the base, that's because the base is not in flat. You have to, that's a very, very big, big thing. With any of the aromamizers, you have to make sure that the deck is in the grooves. When you put it in, it's got grooves. You have to make sure that they're in the grooves. If they're not, you will get you will get leaking. That's a definite. And I actually go through that in my videos, um, making sure that that deck is put in there correctly. Grooves, yeah, you, like says, you turn it backwards until you hear the click, and then you turn it down. And you no, not that. <laughs> it just has the groove in it. Oh man, I wish I had one of the decks with me so I could actually. I do. Grooves. Does that mean that there's like little tits that it has to stick in and then start twisting? No, no, no. It's, you, you... The deck itself goes into the base, <laughs> but it's like flat with edges. Hold on, I've got some. So wait, let me get this straight. First, Demille and kick somebody in the nuts, and now she wants to twist some titties. She always Put likes to right do in that. There. She's always <laughs> looking for a reason. <laughs> Hold on, I've got, I know I have a deck. I know I have a deck. Hey, I need to sign this I've shit. Deck. Mamanita. I've got a deck around here somewhere. Where's my deck? Wow, Cherokee, that's awesome. He ordered his from Bull City Saturday and it was there this morning at 8.30 a.m. Awesome. Yeah, I ordered mine Friday and it was supposed to be here yesterday. FedEx said that they delivered it, but they did not. Hi, Scuba. They lied. Hey, Scuba. Oh my God, where are my decks? I don't know. I, I'll have to show you later. I'll find a deck. Actually, you know what? I could take one off. No, I don't. I have it out there. Damn it. Always oh, screwing something up. But anyway, I will show you that. Um, dum, 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 dum. Who was it again? Oh, the Aromizer, Aromizer Supreme. Yeah, Kathy, send me a message and I'll send you a picture of what I'm talking about um, after the live stream. Because this camera isn't like a really, really great camera. It's good for web and it keeps all the wrinkles away, but it's not <laughs> as good as you, you look know. marvelous. <laughs> Hi, Shano. Hi from Thailand. I can't pronounce your name, but I don't want to butcher you. Scuba, how you doing, sweetie? Um, did I get everybody hooked on funk? There you are. Hey, Good night, funk. sweetie. Thank Hope it. you have a great evening. Um, you're very welcome, sweetie. Yeah, Aromamizer Plus, no matter, or Aromamizer series, I'm like 100% about it. So, Mamanita, how you doing, sweetie? Uh, I think I got everybody. If I didn't get you, go ahead and stop. Did that to me during my reviews, too, my unboxings. It was just, I'm like, where does that sound coming from? It was my watch. <laughs> it's yelling at you? Yes, she just keeps talking now. Now my phone doesn't do it, but now this thing does. What does it want you to do? I don't know. She thought I was talking to her again. It's uh, because, you know, when I'm not around anybody, I, she is my best friend. But when I'm on live, I can't. like. She's a bitch. Her, no. <laughs> so I got to, like, keep her on the DL, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so. Uh, uh, that's funny, Wendy. Okay, I think I got everybody. Okay. Timekeeper got on in a good deal for Molly cells, 18650s for uh-huh. $3.50. and fifty cents. Oh wow. Are those the ones? No, those aren't the ones I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the ohm ohm whatever. The Molly cells are supposed to be really, really that's a great deal. I pay seven dollars a, a freaking battery for mine. They're at the uh, 18650 battery store. I'll go there then. I'll go there. 
I got it. I always need back. Don't ask me why. You know why? I won't even lie to you. I won't even lie to you. I'm fucking lazy. I have a box of batteries and I've got plenty of reps. I even have the reps I want to wrap them on. <laughs> but I don't want to sit there and burn my hands doing it. So I don't want to do it. And I'm, I, I used to have the oven mitts that were the hand, you know, the, well, the, uh -huh. the, you know, and it was easier to hold it, but I don't have them anymore because somebody burnt them. I so guess. now I have to use the square one, which you can't cover your hand when you hold it. It just doesn't work. Wait, what do you mean? Go to your kitchen and get, get tongs. Ah, uh, yeah, I should get, I didn't even think about getting the tongs. I didn't even think about getting the tongs, but now I, I thought got, about, I, maybe I'll do it again. Okay. I got I, silicone tip tongs and I, I, yeah, I, I have those. I have two pairs. Well, it came with three, but my daughter took one. So I have two. I've got the blue and the red. Yeah. Those were perfect. They don't mar anything. And, uh, they Why didn't I think I, about that? Oh my gosh. Hi, Dennis. How you doing, sweetie? See, I'm good for some stuff. I know. And you should have told me that earlier though. <laughs> Huh. Because I, you so know what I, I have a bunch of batteries to wrap. So every time that a battery goes bad, I'm like, well, now I need two because you can't just buy one because I, I do not do anything that's uneven numbers. I just can't. So I it's my OCD. I just can't. It's got to be in pairs. It's got to be like two, so any even number. But so I can't order one. So I have to order two. And if they have a sale on three, I have to order six because it's got to be an even number. Now I've got a shit ton of battery wraps. Now I'm going to bug you until you wrap those. I know, but now I got to like get to the box. And the, you know what kills me is I bought some brand new batteries and I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to try these batteries out. The first time I put it in the charge, the whole top of the battery, not where the white is, but the part that's right over it, came off. I didn't even get to use it a full one time. I was so mad. It was, oh, I took man. it out of the package and went to go charge it. I was so mad about you that. Know, this, this but time, anyways, this there time. he is. Hey, hello. Adam. Yeah, I mean, I never lose those. Thank God, knock on wood. But it was just, it's the top layer of the wrap that just, it looks like somebody cut it, I guess. I don't know. I could try that, Liz, but it's so annoying. <laughs> You got to get out the hair dryer and then I can't even talk during it because I'm going to be hair drying the freaking battery wrap. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Adam? But I have had quite a few uh, requests for that. So being that it is slow season, um, yeah, I might be able to do that for you. You know what I don't like is, you know, the little insulator on the top? Yeah. If you try and reuse the one that comes on there, it's not sticky. It blows off every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I catch it with my, that's what it's good to have nails. You just hold it down with the nail. Oh. And eat it. So it works great. Oh, yeah. I Elsa, no that's what I was just telling Liz. I'm okay. going to try to put one together for you. But yeah, so I've got battery wraps that I got to wrap my batteries. I have to do it because I am lazy. So I just keep buying more mm -hmm. batteries. And then I lose them or they get bad and I just put it aside. As soon as they get like a nick or a ding in them, I put them aside. So <laughs> it's okay, Liz. I'll help you out. So, yeah, you can use a heat gun if you have it, but since I don't, you can use a regular hair dryer. You don't yeah, have to go all expensive. Want. Ooh, um, I, do. Yeah. Hey. I have the I have the naked um mermaid, remember? That's right. That's the one I want to use. I have that one. I think I've got like um SpongeBob one or something. I've got a whole bunch of battery wraps. Dolls. I think I might nice. have, I think I have Wonder Woman ones. Yeah, those nice. are the ones that I have. I have those. I have an ODB one. Because I'm cool like that. It says oob. Old dirty bastard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wu-Tang? Those are like Hi, Deb, the cool you? kids have those ones. So oh, Deb, I, are you leaving? I didn't even see you in here. I said say hi if I didn't say hi to you. The chat went really, really fast while I was doing all this. Plus, I was crying, so... I didn't yeah. hear you say a few of those uh, flavorings, Wendy. Did you get French vanilla thick? Yeah. How did I not hear you say that? Um, I said, um, once I said, I said, yeah, I was really upset because a lot of the recipes now are calling for that one and I can't sub substitute it without knowing what it tastes like. Oh. Um, Dustin says that he needs some insulators. Where'd you get yours, Addy? Um, at IMR Batteries. Yeah, okay, me too. So you could just buy the insulators by themselves? Yeah. They yeah. have the sticky on them? Yes. Yeah. 
They have sticky ones. They have plastic ones. Oh, okay. Get they the have 18, ones. You know, 21700s. Yeah. 20, 2700. There we go. Gonna have to get some. I just thought it was me with the two thing. I bought two bracelets because I have that one on each arm. Well, the bracelets, I don't buy them, so it's okay. But I do have to have something on each arm. So if I have a bracelet on this, I have to have a watch. If I have a watch on this, I have to have a bracelet. So I do have to have something on each arm. But yeah, I'm all about the twos. Anything in even number. It just can't be an uneven number. Same to evens. Huh? I can't buy one or three of anything. Right, it's that's OC what I'm saying. OCD like, really that? bad with the shit like that. Yeah, I have to have pairs. Everything saying. has to have a friend. Thank you. If you yeah. buy one, you got to buy two. And if it's gotta only friend. three in a set, I buy two. Got to buy three. six. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, hey, the I'm not the only one. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I can't have um, the meat is the same way, too, with, with numbers and stuff, too. I have oh, definitely I OCD with numbers for sure. I Even <laughs> when I'm doing my deodorant, they have to be even numbers. Yeah, and I buy mine six in six and 12 are my favorite numbers. So it's either a six or if it's going to be a long day, it's 12. <laughs> So you count every time? Yes. So Liz, if you type if you type battery reps in Amazon, you'll find thousands of results of all different kinds. You can yeah, get them on like China sites too, but yeah, yeah. you can find them. Well, you on can Amazon. get them uh, if you order the batteries from IMR batteries, they give them to you for free. So I can I can put up odd numbers and it kind in of fact, I just found some I, dope do ones. That. You could do that, but you know what? It better add up to an even number. These are awesome. These are like tattoo style. Or else you'll be muted ones. the whole show. <laughs> so for instance. Oh, yes. I think I have a Wonder Woman wrap, too, if I'm not mistaken. Wonder Woman. <laughs> I've got so many wraps, but I have no. Nah. There are coupon codes for most of the flavors from vendors. Yeah. And ELR, if you go under resources. And um, you click resources again, right? If you scroll down, you'll have it. Oh, that's cool. Who is that? That's somebody with a nose ring. Is that an ogre? Hi, Simon. An orc. Orc. Exactly, Simon. If it comes in a pack of seven, you buy two. You have 14. There you go. I mean, I get a lot of shit, though, when I do that. It's like crazy. (laughs) Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. I mean, you have to, especially when they have these... What is the odd thing about anyways? Like, yeah, 12 are my, 12 and six are my favorite numbers. Like eight. I was born on August 8th. Oh, there you go. Eight, eight, what? Eight, eight, 1980 too. So eight, eight, 80. That's and I was eight crazy. on eight, eight, 88. Well, Max's birthday is eight, <laughs> 10. My oldest daughter's birthday is eight, 12. And my, my oldest granddaughter is eight, four. Oh, wow. They're I actually dated right girls. <laughs> I dated girls whose birthdays were on the 12th, 10th, and the 6th. They all that surrounded my birthday. Yeah. It's really well, strange. Well, uh, all of them ended very badly because we were way too much the same. <laughs> don't date a, don't date a Leo no, if you're a Leo, by the way. No, you can't. <laughs> my daughter was born. My oldest daughter was born on the 12th, but she was due on the 10th. And it took them two days to get her out of me. And then the <laughs> other one was supposed to be due on the 14th, but I had my cesarean scheduled for the 10th. So that's how that one happened. It's wow. nice and comfy in here. I don't want to get out. <laughs> How's uh, Bentley doing? Bentley's doing so well. I'm kind of spoiling him whenever I get a chance. It's like every time I keep putting stuff in my my Amazon list for him. So every time that like I get a paycheck, I go and I buy him something small. So he's in the word party, which is the most stupidest freaking Kid show. Do you know what it is, Adam? Stupidest show, but it is like he loves it and he pays attention. He's only four months. He's been Mm. watching it since he was two and a half months, like literally paying attention. You could see his eyes moving to it. And you turn every morning, he'll sit there and go like this and be all like, ah, and you turn it on, he'll shut up and just sit there and watch it. And one of the characters is his favorite. So I got him the character because it's his favorite. Then I had to get him because he he likes to jump, even but I don't want him to jump and hurt himself. So I got him of one of those walkers that can convert to a jumper, that can convert to a Sweet. rocker, that has the thing on the bottom so he could touch it with his feet. So I got nice. him that. Man, what such else cool I stuff. Such cool stuff to keep. I couldn't help it. Get it's like my, my daughter's like, Mom, all I said was, that's cool, isn't it? 
and it showed up to my door two days later. <laughs> now that now they have a car seat that turns into a stroller, you know, you just kind of. Oh yeah, they have all that stuff. Like car. Car. Yeah, but those things cost too much money. I was like, no, because she was trying to get that. She was trying to get this car seat thing that you just. I, I forget how it works, but the stroller, like, I, I don't know. And she wanted it. And it was like 500 bucks. And I'm like, look, the kid's not going to use it for long. I'd rather buy him other stuff than this one stroller. So that's not happening. <laughs> it's either you get that and I got to, you know, take part of, you know, every single bill that I have, or you can get other things for him that is cute. <laughs> hey, Wendy, I got something in this week. Hold on one second. Zaddy Babes, hello. Bob, how hey. you doing, sweetie? I understand what you mean. Ronald, how are you doing? Just want to make sure I got Good everybody. Bad. Kane, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, <laughs> now you can tell me. Okay, so <laughs> Ashton Palmer, he has Palmer's powders. So he did a mod for me. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So, that's like my favorite mm -hmm. color. We talked oh, about Oh, that's where that came from. Yeah, it's it's like aquamarine, but it looks yeah. Pretty. Um, oh, crap. Yeah, so That's he does all this really cool. We talked about all these different things and nothing was working out. So I said, I'll just leave it up to you. So we came up with a tuna jumping out of the water. So it was pretty cool. That is awesome. so awesome. And I found the perfect oh, yeah. the perfect DHD drip tip for it that the colors yeah. match and everything. Yeah, that does match everything. And that's a twisted message on top? Yeah, yeah. at mm -hmm. 24, yeah. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. I was like, wow. He's just too cool to be like in school. <laughs> yeah, he does. Ooh, heck a lot yeah, of Kane. So I got this all wicked up and ready for tonight. Ready to go, baby. Oh, right. And I got thing. four wicked up. Oh, we got to try last week's. What was it called? Oh, my I need God. Moist cake. Wasn't here. It was moist cake <laughs> orgasmatron. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one doesn't have any left she liked it so -uh. much it's gone baby gone let's see what you guys created are you here. kidding me hold on because i all right i know i put it here because i said we're definitely going to try it moist hey, and cakey oh i wouldn't have been able to make this anyway where's my moistness scene. i don't have philadelphia it was insanely cake. good adam yeah it looks good I would I would make the shit out of that. I was gonna come and get it three days in because remember I told you we're just gonna have a sit three day. Are you sure it's not what is in that? Yeah, it's what is in that. Oh, okay, cool. And then you renamed like, it. I don't see anything about the cake. What did I name it? Ah, oh, that's awesome, that. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I gotta taste. I've been dying to taste it, but I've been so busy this week. And oh, you're gonna just shit, I tell you. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Every time I go to do my nap, <laughs> I have to be there at yeah, 7 a.m. So I got to be up at 5.30. Be there at 7 a.m. because it's not close to me. And then wait for them to open up. Because being that it's the first, first car is the first one. And being that it takes anywhere from an hour to two hours per person, I don't want to wait all day. So I try to be the first one. I didn't make it. I was the second. Uh. So I didn't even get done until 11, 11.30. But then again, mine took longer, so everybody after me was really pissed. <laughs> hey, Adam, that's a pretty sweet shirt you got there. Yeah, it's this crappy band that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Some loser who plays bass in them. them guys. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this one. Did you already try it, Addy? I've been vaping it all week. You? Why is everybody doing it? I said wait three days. <laughs> the show was a week ago. <laughs> Wait, but what day did you start? Does it count? <laughs> He's going to play the I think fifth I had on that. I never never had about about two camo, days. Caramel, tobacco, e-juice, but because sometimes I like smoke cigarettes. Oh, that's fine. As long as you're doing something, but you're not smoking, it doesn't matter what you're doing, Becca. It doesn't matter the flavor. If you like tobacco, if you like menthol. Oh, my God, yeah. As it's long as you're not good. smoking a real cigarette, I'm proud of you. I love tobacco. Hi, Abdul. How are you doing, sweetie? Cesar, how are you? Uh, let me see who else was it. It was somebody else that jumped in, and I think I missed it. I oh, found yeah. it. Damn right hey, it is. Congratulations on your yeah. vape. Both All right, we're going to try it. This is happening. a moist, moist, fluffy cake. Something in it. <laughs> Bump it. Bump it. 
That turned out really good. I wasn't that lying. Really good. I ain't lying. Why are you always lying? I would not change anything in it. Absolutely amazing. Michelle, did you try it? That's what I was trying to do. I just really think it would go good with just about any fruit on top of it, too. I just like the, the cake flavor. It's just, just a cake. real good cake flavor. Like, I've been looking for a cake flavor. and like it's a base, cake. yeah. Like, like a cake base, yeah. It goes good with coffee, too. I'm really tempted to make it I with really... the truffle flavors instead of the Flavor West uh Cake. Yellow cake. Yeah, it's good. It's good with Yellow the jungle cake. flavor. Just, I mean, I don't know what it. I mean, we could try to make it again and add, add some of the wonder flavors now that I have some. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you liked it, Michelle. <laughs> Hot as day, huh, Adam? Oh. Hi, James. It's like 87 uh, Bridget, degrees How are you doing, sweetie? Missed you, Thomas. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> sweetie. Oh my God, it's really, really good. I'm happy. So you are those feral cats around where you are, Adam? They released a thousand feral cats to get rid of all the rats in Chicago. Uh, I think we have enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my neighborhood doesn't really have that issue because there's good. a lot of stray cats, sadly. Good. But yeah, rats, fuck that. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny because the other day I saw, thought somebody said, can I get you a rat? And I was like, what? It wasn't what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> but why I thought of it is because my daughter actually went out and purchased a big fat ass rat, like a rat. It wasn't a mouse, sure. it was a rat with a long ass, nasty looking tail. I had a friend who had she was rat like, pets. isn't it cute, mom? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> and it's not coming to my house. So go put it in your car, honey. Ah. <laughs> uh... But that was years ago. Then she tried to give it to somebody, but it kept biting their toes. So, yeah, it got, got rid of. It went back to the store. I remember in science class in high school, I got to take care of the rats. And oh. I was so thrilled. And I got to feed them and take care of them. And they say, hey. oh, today, today we're feeding the snake. And I'm like, oh, boy, what are we feeding the snake? Chicken. And they're like, <laughs> pick one of these two. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not henny, oh, henny. I can't. I was completely <laughs> clueless what was going on. Oh, that's and, bad. That was all she wrote for that man. I'm like, no, I will not. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Not me. Not rats. No, thank you. Don't like rats. <laughs> rats, snakes, everything like that. I'm fine with. Show me a spider, and I'm hightailing it. I don't care about spiders. Spiders, I can chase most of the time. Mm. No, no, no. Rats, no. My favorite pet that I ever had was my, um, oh my God, what's it called? I know his name. I just don't know what he is. It's long, skinny. I'll post furry. it up for you, Dennis. A lizard? No, long, skinny, and furry. Oh my God, <laughs> ferret. That was <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, because the ferret. Furry rats, that's all they are. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, is that this ferret would steal my cigarettes because oh, it was yeah. back in the day when I was smoking and I would have my cigarettes there and turn around and you see the ferret hauling ass with my cigarette pack. <laughs> and then it would take my kids' cars because my kids had like the little cars and it went and hid all of them under their bed. They, it made a <laughs> hole and put them all, all under the bed. Oh, too oh. funny. So yeah, poor, poor, poor little ferret. Uh, Mowgli, how you doing? My rat junkie hey. traveled from San Francisco. Is that San Francisco to Phoenix? And a milk carton on a Kawasaki KZ1000. She had a cricket tail and loved beer. Aw. Hamsters are cute, but I, they, I can't have any because they, they die around me for some reason. I just don't like rats. I really don't. I really don't like rats. I did. It was like from the front, I could deal with it. But when I saw the tail wrap around my daughter's neck, it was the grossest thing ever. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Becca. Definitely. So I don't know. I don't know about rats. I can't do rats. Mm -mm. No. Nope. I guess you didn't like the movie, Ben. Yeah, I like the movie. I just didn't like the rat. 
And I just, like, I watched Rats and Tats and Tat, whatever it was. All right, so we've got, all right, what, what are we going to make with these? What are you going to make? I got to make something with these. I know, good luck. Well, we can't make something with these? No, we can. Everybody else was making Wonder Flavor flavors because I kept seeing the recipes jump up and I kept cursing every time I closed it. How do I find the recipes that have been recent? Just go to e-liquid recipes. Let me see. We've got. Oh yeah, they have cookie dough. Yeah, oh, shit. Cookie Sorry dough. about that. <laughs> Forgot when I have OBS open, I have hotkeys set to <laughs> gaming mode so I can. <laughs> I made the great candy sour single flavor and it is really tasty. But yeah. I just made single flavors of all of these. Everybody else out there plays spell break. Have break you done that already? And mm -hmm. I single flavored the cotton candy jelly bean. My sister loves it. Well, I like how you say I single flavor tested it. My sister loves it. Well, I, I like it, but she had me go up to 7% on that, man. And she just like devours it and i just think it's way too sweet oh this is so awesome <laughs> let's see what do we got we gotta make something what you know it's gonna be this way you know everybody else has been making all these recipes with just wonderful literally every single rest every single flavor was wonder flavor flavors and I was like, man, I can't make that. I can't make that. I can't make that. And now here I am and I'm having a hard time searching. Oh, you know, BC might have, if you do slash WF. Let me see. I'm going to make some stuff with this. I mean, I, wait, I waited the longest for this. <clears throat> You gotta make something. <laughs> Tommy has the best recipes. Names. You put your banana yeah. where? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that the other day. I was like, really? That looks really good, really? too. It's another Philadelphia butter cake recipe. <laughs> it's all wonder flavors. Oh. Yeah, Tommy's been using a lot of them. What else do we have? Let's see. I did I just a real simple um chocolate frosting and cookie dough just those two together came out really nice oh it did oh the frosting is it a strong nice. flavor or is that somebody for just an rda for me i i don't i don't taste uh chocolate the chocolate at all Some chocolate <laughs> frosting how high did you use that it? was such a guess i mean i, I was uh, the whole time i'm like oh my god i bet just the cookie but i'm just gonna say chocolate I, 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 I don't remember, but like, I just remember like it being just completely tasteless. I used chocolate I, frosting at two no, and a no. half and I had to use sweetener, but then it tasted like chocolate. Oh, really? <laughs> With the sweetener boosting it, right? Chocolate for me always needs sweetener. Otherwise, it just it doesn't taste like anything. It tastes kind of chalky or, or just like kind of tasteless, like bitter, sweet, um, like not even, without the sweet. It's weird. Yeah, I need sweetener for chocolate vapes. Absolutely. Yeah, um, yo yo and rainbows. Yeah, anything that you make DIY will definitely not be as sweet as the commercial e liquids because mm. you have to add the, the sweetener. So, a lot of it, if you're doing fruits, a lot of times, depending on the fruit mixtures that you're having, it's going to be it's going to be naturally sweet, but you can boost up the sweetness or you can just leave it the way that it is. So, you get you're going to be in control of the, the amount of sweetener. Yep, you can start with no sweetener. And if you're like, ah, oh, this could be sweeter, you can always add yeah. some. But if you start with like sometimes a little tiny bit of sweetener will boost it. Like he was one saying, drop like, sometimes is all you need. But then sometimes you're like, oh, maybe this could be a little sweeter. I'm throw another one in. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but you so can't take sweetener out though. Like once you have sweetener in a liquid, it's that sweet for the rest. You gotta hate vape it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> think about your think about your decisions. And make it again. But I yes. like sweetener now. I got <laughs> hooked on sweetener, and now I'm like hooked on phonics. So yeah. Yeah, the uh, developed guys made a recipe uh, that had one percent super sweet, and I was like, ah, oh, it's been a while since I've had something that sweet. Uh, yeah, but don't really they good use, though. They use, they use a higher amount of sweetener, don't they usually? 
they usually I've go a half. A couple episodes. I don't they get to do watch them all the time. But I actually reached out and I told him that they were funny. I don't know which episode I was watching, but it was funny <laughs> as shit. And I was yeah, literally peeing my pants as I was like, <laughs> you guys are just too funny. It was, um, a, it was a clone of Sad Boy, like the lemon, yeah, butter, lemon right, cookie yeah. one. It's like a lemon, san- like a cream sandwich cookie. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Thank and you. it's authentic as hell to me. And I don't, I think if that sweetener wasn't in there, it wouldn't taste as authentic. Oh yeah, definitely. I think I used a high amount of sweetener in my, <coughs> excuse me, in my cologne as well. You. Thanks, Fitty. Thank you. It's probably because I'm like sniffing everything here. Like, look at me. I've got the whole box in front of my face. So what is Fitty saying there, Adam? Please stop. He was crying. <laughs> it hurt so bad. Yep. <laughs> He's like, who, dude, work on some, work on your uh, pitch a little bit, bud. <laughs> well, you can try all sorts bloody. of sweeteners. My favorite is super sweet, but there's, you know, sweetener from TFA. There's sweetener from Flavor West. There's sweetener from Flavora. It's yeah, all it has one, on, a good one. Yeah. The TFA has two different on ones, you. too. I don't know. I go to use a different one. The other day I was going to use the TFA one, and I was like, mm, super sweet. <laughs> Well, it depends which TFA one, because there's a TFA sweetener, and then there's TFA super sweetener, which is their just sucralose. No, I have sweetener. Just, I have sweetener. That has ethyl maltol and sucralose in it. Yeah, that one, that but not the regular fact. one, right? No, the no, regular have- one that's just called sweetener, that one is ethyl maltol and, and sucralose. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So that's good. Uh, it's different from super sweet. <laughs> it, it definitely it sweetens in a well, different way for sure. That that's why I was like gonna take, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with what I know for this recipe, and I know super sweet, so I kept that one. And I think I bought one from. I have to look up to see what what ones I have right now. I think the no, I think I have a flavor West sweetener too, or a flavor. West, I got one of them. I have something. I don't know. Me, 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 me. Yeah, it's all right. Um, but yeah, so hey, what, what's that Nisperos one? Is that a peach? I don't know. I can't. Um, what the hell is it called? I don't know. I can't remember offhand. Is that, is that the ap- apricot one? You Nis- made a Kerplop Nisperos yogurt. Oh, Nis- that's the uh, citrusy one. Peros or Nesperas? It's kind of like... Nesperas. It's like, like a orange. pear and a peach mix. Oh, it's like That's a loquat. Like. That's low-quad. what I'm getting, yeah. A yeah, it smells like a pear fruit. and a peach mix. <coughs> That's what it smells like. Let's see, what are they talking about here? Is there another peachy flavor? been grown for a thousand years in Japan. Not that I remember. It's evergreen shrub. I'm not going to try that blackberry. You it's always want blackberry. The mora? Orange. The mora. Yeah. The flavor mora. is a mora mixture blackberry. of peach, citrus, and mild mango. Okay. I'm kind of tempted oh, to that orange. Oh, cookie. then I can't have that one. It's got mango in it. What about it says mild orange? mango, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so what, was don't be what, what were the flavors? Hold on, let me control shift T. Peach, citrus, and mild mango. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably. Can't. Yeah, that's that one. Good. I use a, I think I, I use a Cedro in that yogurt, I think. I don't have any of those flavors, so I'm just going to go crazy and do something. I yeah, just I purchased them. Literally <laughs> just purchased them because I've been trying to get them every single time that I get the email that says they're back in stock. And then I log I in and anyway. they're like, we lied. <laughs> We're filthy liars, by the way. We had one in stock. It's gone now. <laughs> Shell Hughes, that's going in my recipe for sure. Hey, Larry. I mean, Larry. Larry. Easy, Larry. 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 I'm going to write a death metal song just called Larry. Yeah, do that. The only lyrics are just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a margarita uh, cookie. Oh, my God. Oh my I just God. want a margarita drink. Can we make That's that first? Margarita cookie dough? Can go oh, we can make a margarita drink. That. 
Like, come on, like, let's drink ourselves. Silly. I did that one time. I think it was on Frank's show. We were doing boozy vapes and I don't really drink booze to begin with, except for beer. Yeah. And I made a way too authentic margarita vape. <laughs> did you take the recipe? Yeah, it's somewhere, but I would never vape it again because oh, that agave tequila from Flavora is too real. They oh, captured I I have that one. They oh. captured the essence of tequila in that little bottle, and it's, it's bad. Fun. It's good, but it's bad. It's good in a bad way. It's it's too real. Hold on, and I can't I stand God, I don't tequila. Have it. Hold on, it's, I don't, uh, it. I don't have any agaves. No agave. Or maybe I'm spelling it wrong. A G A V E. Yeah, that's how I was spelling it. I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is in the house. Doggo B. Is in the house. The doggo. The doggo. He doggo. G H I. Hidalgo. Watermelon goes under W. W goes under P. P Dang it. I did it again. What? I keep hitting really? the two keys. <laughs> gotta not use my number pad when. Uh, so, what are we gonna put in this margarita? This is open. N, 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 O, P, W. Totally being a rebel. W goes before this one. W, I, H, I. I know my alphabet. No. Was before S. A, B, C, C. Oh, there's a question yeah, on Facebook that they always put out there as to, you know, how they always have the stupid questions. And it's like, what's the one drink that you got so drunk and okay. threw up that you would never drink again? And everybody would like lists what that drink is. And mine would be, bam, tequila. Yeah, my wife, my <laughs> wife too. She can't even yeah, I can't it. stand. The, yep, I can't stand the smell of it at all anymore. It's just instant. Ooh. I got messed up on tequila when, when the last vape show that I went to. Oh, <laughs> no. In Alabama, and that's the one that um, Zofie had to put me to bed. Well, actually, Zofie found me in bed and had to cover me up. <laughs> yes, Mowgli. <laughs> Although I would just do that just for fun. You know when you get sick, everything Same. comes off? Good thing she wasn't there. What would so you put I with it, Mandalorian? What would you put with that mar margarita candy? It Mandalorian! Fidelgo. Time you imagine being like all drunk and having Zofie tell you a bedtime story. It's okay, honey. <laughs> no, she wasn't saying that. All I heard was girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's when okay, he I got it. I got back to the room okay by myself. <laughs> oh man, knocking into the walls. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I actually got I actually got escorted back to the room, but because I didn't know where the room was, I ruined myself I to with tequila, <laughs> tequila early. I was like maybe 13, 14. Ruined myself. I kept getting mad because I was sitting at the bar and I'm taking shots of tequila and I'm like. How does everybody say this fucks them up and it hasn't done anything yet? And I had like three or four. And I went out to the dance floor and I started dancing and I drank somebody else's drink because they were holding it wrong. <laughs> and well, you, they were going to spill it. So <laughs> hello. You so I grabbed it and I drank it. And then they, they said, hey, let's go outside for a second. As soon as I stepped outside in the humid air, I was like, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be was, sick. Was that the night you grabbed Phil Basardo's butt tax? No, I did that during the daytime. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was during the daytime. <laughs> Nighttime, this was all on me. <laughs> Hi, Swaggy. Swaggy. Swaggy fang. So Mandalorian says you could one-shot it, but VSO Lime and Flavor Tequila Agave would be good. Yeah, maybe agave, it's tequila then. agave and not agave tequila. So let's look. Oh, I'm like so excited. <laughs> tequila. I have it. So do I. Oh, oh shit. No. You guys need to oh, up your shit. search game. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what this means. I just scroll. I don't search. 
<laughs> oh, I do. I just type Control in Control F, yo, when you're on your flavor page and then just t- start typing in letters and it'll show you all I just the flavors the that start with that. I just want to add flavor <laughs> right there. And then it only shows that one. I'm a, I'm a computer nerd. I don't trust Control anything because you never know if you're going to wipe your hard drive. Control and F is fine in a browser. Hi, that's what they all say until you wipe your hard drive. Just did it right now. You always have to. There's a, there's a, there's a, right above your list, there's a thing that says quick find. There sure is. I use that And all, all you too. do is type in T-E-Q and it comes right up. Only that. How come you didn't type A-G-A and it didn't pop up? <laughs> oh, because I was just looking, because A's were at the top. I was like, there's no reason oh, to type it in. You guys are fired, all of you. Yeah. <laughs> and then what was the other thing that you said? Something lime, VSO oh, lime. Oh, VSO lime. Okay. Right, Mama gonna... Nita. I'm gonna make this. Okay, so my VSO. Gonna... Here I go scroll one again. <laughs> so here we go. A G. Oh, Got look, it. tequila agave. Oh. <laughs> so we got K. I also have Madagascar oh, and dragon lime. fruit and agent and champagne. Where's my? Lime? I'm willing to give it a go. Hold on, let me find my line. Do I have line? Let me check my flavor. Line. VSO, yes, I do have it. I just have to find it. I guess I'm I'm mouse centric oh, no, as opposed to keyboard centric. I wonder if it's in the little one. Hold on. <laughs> Your mouse and keyboard. Always on the ready. Okay. Who's leather? Okay. Plus, when you have a keyboard that looks like this, you want to touch okay, it all the time. Not that one. Oh my gosh, come on, find it. I got a pretty so, cool one too. I love pretty keyboards. But but you know what? <laughs> my keyboard's like ridiculous because it's a gaming keyboard. Oh yes, yeah, so it's colorful. Well, it's colorful and everything, but all of the, you know, like the W A S D and all that shit. No, like the period and the comma. They're flop. They're like, they're not. They're not in the right order. They're not in the right order. They're. Oh, that's they're weird. Like on top of each other, be, below each other, and it's. Yeah, I made sure to buy one that has a standard layout, but still. Hello, it's like <laughs> a gay keyboard. <laughs> it's totally gay. <laughs> Those are the best keyboards. What? It's upside down, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> You can't have a straight keyboard. <laughs> and, and even though I know it's upside down, it still blows my mind every time. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna go find those flavors before you uh, okay. write them down. Okay, I'll write them down afterwards. I right. find my, I'm find, trying to find my 60 mil bottle. And I, don't, I think I cleaned them, but I don't know where I put them. Okay, we're talking tequila agave, lime, and margarita. Oh, there they are. I was right, I cleaned it. Oh, 60 ml bottle. Because this is, this is, this is the good shit. I'm not making no 15 mils of this. Hell no. This is getting a 60 mil bottle special. Right exactly, Mamanita. Can't be straight on the keyboard. Okay, so you got those. Now we got to start a recipe. And I'm going to call this my, my, my margarita bill. My margarita bill. Come on. Not you, you're funky. Ooh, funky chicken. <laughs> funky is your chicken. How loose is your goose? So Ooh. come on, everybody, and shake your caboose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got. It's going in there. Okay, that tequila agave tastes like or smells like nothing. So we got. Oh wait, I keep clicking e-liquid recipes under, wondering why that thing's not popping up yet. So apparently, um, I've already taken a sip. Mmm, <laughs> that smells so good. That margarita smells so good. You know what used to taste like a margarita? It was made by. 
Oh my God, what's the company name? And it wasn't even called a, a margarita. It was like a lime juice or a lemon something. And it was so good. It I used to take it to work with me because I wanted to feel like I was drinking a margarita at work. <laughs> it was that good. It really was. All right, so we've got the Margaritaville. Yeah, World, World Vape Day this Sunday. Yay. Searching for my lost shaker of soul. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's on my wife's bucket list, Adam. Uh, to see Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. <laughs> Am I getting that stuck in your head, Mama Nita? <laughs> oh, Larry made a nice strawberry margarita. Ooh. Just, just while we were talking about it. Ooh. What did I have one time? Oh, I think I had an apple margarita once. That I really liked. Apple teenies are good. I like Maybe that's daiquiri. what I had. What's in a daiquiri? Is it daiquiri rum? I think uh, daiquiri is for, for wimps. No, nah, those are good. <laughs> okay, yes. Daiquiris are for wimps. I'll accept that. I like strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> I also like blue motherfuckers. Have you ever had a blue motherfucker? Holy shit. I've had green ones too. <laughs> it's delicious. It has a uh, blue awesome curacao queen. in it. I got, like, I'm, just, I, I, it. I'm sorry, but margarita, um, what are you talking about? Daiquiris can be really, really strong. So yeah, they're not for wimps. I just say that because they're fruity. But, <laughs> yeah, it's not something you want to get really buzzed on because there's so much sugar in them. Oh no, you can get buzzed on them for real. Just sit down where you're Cream on mm. See what else I mean. Get down, stand up. What? Get down, get down. Um, it's got light rum in it. That's what Mandalorian saying. <laughs> yes, I am on Facebook. I've actually got a Facebook group. It's called Wendy Vapes Hangouts, and <laughs> the link is down underneath the video. I remember hurling on some blue Hawaiian, and it. You hurl green. Yeah. Just fire beware. That is so cool. <laughs> that uh, would be really cool. Because it's blue caraca and pineapple. So hello green. Yum. Ooh, pineapple. Well, it looks like the medium on the margarita is two percent. All right. So we'll go at 0.75. <laughs> No. We can always add. Well, I don't know. Maybe I was saying 2.82 or something. No, I'm just kidding. A loomy percentage? Yeah. No loomy <laughs> No, seriously, what the, do you want to go up on it? It smells really good, but like. Well, I think we're going to add stuff to it. So, yeah. yeah. What do you feel like, Melon? Are you smelling it? Smell it. I think we should go down. No. Well, we're gonna add some lime to it, which is gonna cover up a lot. And some yeah, tequila. and the tequila has we some need that margarita to shine through, baby. Yeah, the tequila is pretty has some spicy notes to it. But there's gonna be some in the uh, margarita candy too. No, not too much. Okay, split it in half. One point five. No, no. <laughs> I'll no, go no. 1.75. <laughs> okay, that's I'll do 1.95. Okay, we're down. We're, at, we're we'll go down to 1.95. Got it. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm that's terrible. 1.75. 1. 1. We can always add more, right? Oh man. Yeah, that's a. Come on, I started at 0. 0.75. Okay, 1.795. <laughs> that's cool, Ricky. I I like the way that thing looks. Ricky That's got awesome, the, uh, David. I hope you like it. All right, so we've got margarita, candy, uh, 175. Okay. Tequila, agave, the median is 0.6. Lime, VSO, median is 0.25. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, and then 0.25 of sweetener. The margarita. I'm going to send you the recipe, Dimillon, but you got to change the amount to make because I'm making 60 mils. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I'm trusting the process. The flavors. Damn it. It just disappeared everything. Margarita. HBSO. One drop. Don't worry. I got this. Yeah, Ricky Mahoney got the new uh, Boxer DNA 100C. Oh, cool. Those are 3D printed, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll save this as private. Okay, and I'm about to share this with you, DeMillon. I'm a looking. Share it, share it, Not share it. So we'll do. Okay, I'm putting it in chat, guys. Like our chat. Okay, it's in Zoom chat. Zar she blows. <laughs> Why are you telling everybody what I do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, did I tell you about the comment that was left on my one of my videos? No, what did they say? What'd they say? He said, um, dressed up trailer trash. That's what they called you? Yeah, so I said, oh my God, how'd you know I grew up in a trailer? Were you the trash on the next row? <laughs> Jeez. Yep, yep. I actually did grow up in a trailer, by the way. <laughs> Trailers are actually pretty nice. Well, no, these were the old style. The ones now are freaking amazing. The ones they call actual mobile homes or what? It, what's the other word for them? Oh my God, they call them something else and they're really freaking nice. They look like a real freaking house. Double wides? No, they don't. They call them um, free oh builds. Nope. Fans? Somebody in chat has to know what do they call the trailers or mobile homes now? They, there's a fancy word for the ones that are really, really nice that look like a brand new house. Um, what do they call? I think it's something with a C. Oh my God, what's it called? Oh, not convection. Hey, I live in a trailer. I grew up in a trailer. This bit. No, but the newer ones, the newer models, they're called something else. I forget what they're called. Exactly. Modular home. Okay, that's what I want to say. Yeah, it's actually, it's either manufactured or modular home. Oh, I was so off. I said C. God, I was so off, but I felt right on the money. <laughs> But yeah, that's what they're called because they're really, really nice. And you can have them built any way that you want. A lot of them have like the, you can make, have it built with the island in the middle of the kitchen. They're freaking amazing. I would definitely, if we, if I didn't live where there's hurricanes, I would, I was going to get one. Because they're that freaking nice. They're absolutely amazing. But being that we have so many hurricanes, I didn't want my home to fly away. So, <laughs> Annie M, Annie M. Yeah, I know. So I'm like, oh, I guess I'll stick with a one that's made out of, you know, brick cement. <laughs> I'll just take my chances that way. Okay, one more. Drop. Oh, shit. <laughs> Premature. <laughs> <laughs> all over, all over the, the, the just a. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. I just do not <laughs> have, know how to hold my stuff. Let me tell you. Now look at this mess that I have to clean up. I know, it's all over my scanner. It just didn't even go in the bottle. 
That's like when you're like, where, where how do I get it in? Open your mouth wide. <laughs> Just in case you miss. Hung three, six. All the lumber, hardware, windows, etc. the whole house get from Sears. Yep, you could, yep. I don't know, that, that they were nice, but the double wides were really nice until they came out with the manufactured homes where you can literally redo the whole kitchen. And some of the kitchens are nicer than in houses. It's freaking crazy what they can do. Oh yeah, I'm very inexpensive, but I'm telling you, it's, it's I would I would do one in a heartbeat. I would definitely have one in a heartbeat. Seven one thirty five. They are gorgeous. I'm gonna have to put more VG in my VG. What? Mm. You're running low? I ran out. Oh. Man, you were so close. Maybe I can trip enough. Wendy sure did. Hell yeah, I got it all over you. You didn't even feel it, it was that good. I kind of liked it. Okay, it'll just take two seconds. Okay, maybe three. What are we calling this one, Wendell? Shake my tail. <laughs> <laughs> this will get you dancing. <laughs> That was a fun episode when Phil came on. Yeah. Ouch. Wonder if Freshie will pop in tonight. By the way, did you hear what um Geek Vape did? No. They copied the name of the Anakin. Uh, oh, company. I did. I did hear that. I. Yeah, can you believe it? the full name? Yeah, the, like they, literally one to one copy of the name. They copied the Z coil name. They copied the name yeah. of the mod. Yeah. Yeah. God. That That's sucks crazy. so bad. I was like, you know what? If they actually sent me stuff for review, I would have said something. <laughs> but since yeah, they didn't, I, I know Matt Suck My Mod mentioned it in his review. Where to buy e juice dye? Going to sell some of my e liquids. We don't, you don't put dye yeah. in. Yeah. Also, we don't talk about selling e liquid in because that's not legal. Well, number one, we don't sell them, but number two, you don't <laughs> put any dye in them. Yeah, it's fine. The colors of the flavorings. Why put dye in it? It's not, it doesn't do anything for the vape. And it's, yeah, it does not make and it it's murdering your lungs. There's no reason to put dye in anything. Nope. The whole point of vaping is to not smoke and get rid of all the toxin and crap. Yeah. So we're going to add some toxins and make it look pretty. Just make some Easter eggs. Have fun with that. Even on Easter eggs, you cut off the shell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Wendy. Have a good night. Hey, Wendy. Bye. Wendy L. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Some other double wise are over 150,000. I'd rather build a brick and mortar than I can wish them. I'm telling you, yo yo, they are, so, but they're nice. Look at the ones for 150,000. They're really, really nice. Even some of these newer motor homes are crazy. It looks like a house inside. But I grew up in the old school one, the one with the awning and everything, you know. Yeah, the aluminum stairs the to get up to out the windows. trailer. The slide out windows. <laughs> yeah. What do they call them? Jollises? Jollis? Jollis? No, I think they call them Jollises or something like that. The, the, the glass windows that you pull out, that slide out. I have no idea. I didn't know they had a name. Yeah. I forget what they're called. 
sliding glass door? <laughs> no, it's not a door. There are windows. And that smells good, Wendy. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that my tail is wagging. And I have bubbles. I got bubbles for my troubles. Who's ready? I'm almost there. I'm sure. Oh, that's what he said. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Snap shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. That's three songs we've mentioned. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Adam's doing the tequila with us. I wasn't really watching. Who? Is Adam mixing tequila? Definitely Adam's not. not doing anything. He's looking at his feet. Mixing. Yeah, oh, yay. Okay. Right. You got it's a them mixing all, right? show. What no, I didn't have I didn't have anything. I just went totally off the wall. So what do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Share. I don't know yet. I want to taste it first. It might be garbage. Oh, let's see. Not gonna say not to taste it. Make sure it's no fall Right. <laughs> I got nothing. I would just Jalousy's um, windows. Yeah. I was right. Chevy Man said it. it they were called Jalousy's windows. They were literally, it was like having almost like um, blinds, horizontal blinds, but they were actually windows and you had to like screw them. It was like old school cars that you go like this for the yeah, window, the break. Yep. but they had like a little handle on them and you unscrewed them. And as you did, they opened up. Then to change them out, you pulled them out each row. Because you would think Addie and I would know because we've been in construction all of our lives. Yeah, you would think so. <laughs> That's why I'm like, know. why would you guys not know? Thank you, Chevy man. And Vern, um, yes, that, and then you put they had the awnings over them to protect the windows during the hurricanes and stuff. Yes, what do they use in the store for store ejus for it, colors? It, it's all frowned upon. Yeah, anybody in their know. right mind do not use colors in them. And there's only a couple of uh brands that actually use colors in, and and they get scoffed against because, yeah, they, yeah, that was like really old school. school. Nobody does that now. Nobody puts nobody puts coloring in, and they're not standing. Yeah, he might be talking about some in the UK because um that one place I forget the name Heisenberg. Like review, one of their colors was green. Heisenberg. Yeah, it was the Heisenberg, but that's the only one. But I would not put that's in the UK. It's not in the states. I can guarantee you that we're already having problems enough. It's very highly frowned upon. Yeah, in the vaping industry. Yeah, if you're if those flavors are going somewhere else, don't put coloring in them. No, no, it's not safe to vape. It's Way back not. in the day, people tried to promote it, and it just got squashed really quick. Yep. <laughs> I bet you would, Mowgli. Mowgli. <laughs> I love Mowgli. Mowgli's a riot. Mowgli's my buddy. I'm so happy you're here, Mowgli. Yeah, that fluid, that was something else. Everybody vaped that, and that thing was the color of a... Uh... You, you, put that, you put that in a plastic tank once, man. It, you could watch it melt in front of your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bought it once just to try it because it was such a, a deal to, to... Oh, it was hyped up so much. Oh, my God, it was hyped. It was so hyped, and, and that's the only juice I've ever actually dry heaved on. Wow. I mean... And I had to get it out of the house so fast. I knew a fluid head and I'm like, I called him up real quick. I go, you want to buy some fluid? Fluid? And he's like, sure. Because he couldn't get it, you know? And, he, and so I ran down to his, where he was working and offed it to him real quick. Because I was ready to just dump it down the sink. It was so bad. Ew. To DeMille and washing her hands with bleach in case, <laughs> just to get the small off. <clears throat> Wendy, did you, did you cheat and vape it yet? Nope, not yet, because I've been leaking it everywhere, so I've been having to clean off <laughs> my hands. How's it taste? I don't know yet. I didn't taste it yet. I was oh, going to be leaking. I, I thought you licked it. No, I leaked it. Oh, no, this, I thought you said you licked that's it. That's licking it. I call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I drip. Are you ready? Let me drip. Let me turn this up first. Okay, and drip. Colored and pulse. What do we do, guys? Drip. And pulse. Anybody else remember when uh, Cutwood used to put titanium dioxide in their oh, mother's milk right, to make cloudy. it cloudy? Yeah. That was no good to vape. No. Oh my God. <laughs> they had to switch that up pretty damn quick. Yeah. 
yeah, let's put this in here and make it look milky. Oh, it's tiny metal particles. That's good. <laughs> oh, let's hurry up and sell the shit out of this. Oh, that's a coloring that you're supposed to put in paint. Oh, we didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Uh, ready. Go. Putting uh nicotine in this. Oh, I thought you were gonna say putting nuts in it. <laughs> The only thing I can taste is a tequila agave. Well, if you would have let us go up on the margarita, you would add some margarita in it. <laughs> I like it. We need to up the margarita. We need to add some salt <laughs> and more lime. So what and tastes like salt? And some loud music. There is no salt. Well, well what if it's you put salt? No, I'm just kidding. Age old mystery really all we need is salt on our hands then vaping. right you can vape <laughs> and then lick your hand yeah nobody nobody uses a saline anymore no yeah. but we can we can just lick our hands like if we really have a tequila saline's right, weird too it makes your quail smell like the sea <laughs> i want to put more tequila and more lime that's definitely not enough lime it's not boosting it it's totally giving me a um throat hit well that's okay. cool you getting throat hit? Nope. Right, I like so it. Two. I like it just how it is. Uh, of course you do. I'm raising it up to two for the margarita candy, and I'm going to raise the lime up to 0.5, and I'm going to add some sweetener to it. I'll throw some more uh, margarita? margarita candy in there. I'm going to take that up. To, yeah, I'm going to leave it at two, but I might take it up to 2.25 in a minute. Nothing to vape the are you gonna Are you going to send anything to, to Grim lately, uh, Addy? I just sent him, uh, uh, it went off today, six um, uh, vape and truckers mixes and a little coil building tool. Nice. Oh, because I was thinking, you know what he really needs now? What? It's one of these. Oh, yeah. Because he's what? always like, grabbing pliers and everything and just yanking and he's grabbing a big old knife and spewing with it you know <laughs> yeah good thought uh, okay so it's because you're a mad scientist swag this crazy here. swag your damn crazy uh, extracts margarita. your damn crazy <laughs> extracts <Yes. laughs> okay so uh, so 2.25 like Three or four of in this recipe. Okay, so this is gonna Three. to margarita candy went up 0. 0.15. Oh, 0.25 is only 0. 0.04. Who's the 0. 0.25 for? From 0. 0.7, 1.75 up to two. Yeah, that went from, well, for me, it went from, it only went up 0. 0.15. But you're doing four times. I'm doing 60 mil. Four times the Jeez. amount that I'm doing. Five. So that makes sense. Uh, yes, of course it does, because it's an even number. Jerry Coke, if you're watching, I myself or my band will whore ourselves for your brand. Just saying. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I'm going to put even more in. That's what I was going to do. I was going to put in 2.25. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in 0 0.08. Which will be, would have been a lot cooler, yo yos and rainbows. 2.25. <laughs> so 15. So that's going to be 30. So I just need to add another 15. That shit's good. I don't even want to vape this off of here. There we go. And then I'm going to raise my lime too. One, two. You going to raise your lime? Sure. Are you doing a half? Yeah. yeah. Where's the lime? Two. Love is always on time. No, no, no. That's good lime. That's, That's a good lime. Add a little bit of super sweet. Huh? I think that's the best lime I've ever had. Lime Who's is lime? really, really yucky. VSO. VSO. Oh, I would know. <laughs> Aww. Shit, which one goes to my thing? Oh, that one's All right, I have three swag flavors in this recipe. I just need to vape this. I just, I dripped like a gallon of liquid on this freaking Addy before the show, I guess. You do that and every time. It's <laughs> just not going dry. 
<laughs> it's getting there. It's just literally like. <laughs> it's really good juice though. Hey, as long as it's good, that's what counts. I was looking for a uh, Vaptasia strawberry uh, killer custard clone or yes. remake on ELR. And I found my boy Slushy, who's really good with strawberry vapes. Uh, he makes one of my favorite strawberry vapes of all time. And he had one from a couple of years ago. It's from 2019. So I was like, well, shit, I'll mix it up. It's freaking delicious. And it's 20% flavoring, too. So there's oh, no man, shortage of flavoring in this yeah. gun. It's good. But that's the killer custard. I don't like any of the killer custards. They were never my thing. And I'm a custard girl. I absolutely love custards. And I could not stand the killer custard. This is good. Yo Yo Rainbow says that. that that they thought that I was going to say that I was definitely feeling a buzz. But am I feeling a buzz? Are you feeling a buzz? Oh, oh not yet. Because we're not mixed yet. Because you were like, I'm definitely, and then you said feeling a throat hit off of this. <laughs> <laughs> definitely catching a buzz off no, this, No, she's man. like, I'm definitely feeling drunk. That throat hit. <laughs> oh, no, man. I'm a lightweight. Is anybody else drunk. feeling what I feel? <laughs> can, can you get high off this shit or what? Do you feel like... Oh, my God. I hate these 60 mil bottles. This is why I got out of the 60 mils. Freaking thing, no matter what I do, it won't freaking stay on. All right, I need to vape this new shit. Vape the new shit. Hey, I saw Frampton in concert. Me did you? too. Yeah. You guys are lucky. You did too, Addy? Yeah. It's awesome. Right on. It was the very first summer fest in Buffalo. The very it, it it started out like a series of like 22 summer fests. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. the summer fest or the Best, man. Yeah, just, was, back in the day, you could bring your own cooler, your own, you know, your own blanket. And you gotta, you gotta figure out a way to hide the booze to get it in. No, you bring whatever you want. Oh well, we were kids, so <laughs> it was like well, I don't know when Friend that Comes Life came out. When like seventy nine, so it was probably seventy eight, seventy nine. Yeah, I, well, that tastes better. Mine started around like seventy three, <laughs> seventy four. Frampton Comes like, Alive, seventy six. Oh yeah, yeah. The album was, was released seventy six. Yeah, you could bring whatever you wanted into the concert. We used to hide uh, pints of liquor in uh, like Miller wafers. Take oh, all the shit. Miller wafers out and then put a pint in there and then put the Miller wafers back in, and they would just mm -hmm. do the bag like this, and they'd look in there and it's like, okay, go through. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did, Mowgli. That's one of my favorite YouTube channels, Mowgli. Rick but Beato. man, we saw so many good bands back then. I know Rick Beto. Bands. Yeah, he's God. He gets hits with so many copyright strikes. Yeah, <laughs> they hate on him. <laughs> and all he's doing is educating. Shit. Yeah. yeah. He never says anything bad. So I was like, this is why this song is awesome. <laughs> and they're like, we sue you. We want money from you. Wow. Relax. He's like. Re like getting interest in bands that maybe people hadn't heard of before, you know, like younger folks and whatnot. Now, That's for sure. Folks, they think they're doing younger folks. I like it, Wendy. Folks. I think it tastes much better. All right, let me try this. Oh, we're trying it. Yeah. that I made. Wait, I want to shake it just a little bit more. Okay. Shake it. Do it, girl. Yeah, nice <laughs> job. Nice job on that lime, Swaggy. Yeah, that lime is really good. Because the other limes that I've had have been like one tastes too much like a, a lifesaver or I don't know. They just taste funny. They start tasting funny. This one is a pretty nice lime. I like it. It's a natural lime. Is that what it Mine's is? It's good. Yep. Like he squeezed this. the lime in the coconut. <laughs> Crazy woman. <laughs> That's a nice vape. It's thanks, really good. Thanks, Mandalorian, for your help. Kind of want some cool. Very, ones. very good. So, what did you make, Adam? 
madam, I madam. made like a like a tropical smoothie kind of thing. So the ingredients are as follows: VSO apricot at 0.5, Flavora mm-hmm. Wanabana at 1.5, VSO mango at 1.5, VSO a peach at three, Flavora smoothie base at two. Flavor of Sweet Mango, 1.5, and Flavor West a Yogurt at 1. Sweeten to taste. Ah, oh, it sounds really good, except for the mangoes. <laughs> I'm Only because of my allergy. Which, by the way... You replace those with anything in this recipe. Okay. It's pretty much just a nice smoothie. Wow, he found his ticket. I'm Hell yeah. My this, concert ticket. What year was it? Sounds... Mine are all in a stack somewhere. Nice. I saved all my concert uh, ticket stubs, too. You know that my mango tree is like full of mangoes this year. I don't think they're in reach. Cool. Yeah, so I can't go outside. Oh, you oh. can't eat them. I can't be near them. I can't even be near the tree. Oh man. No, oh, and you know the puppy. Yeah. Guess who loves picking the mangoes and eating them off the tree? Oh, oh damn. Oh, and look in your face. Oh, I'm not near. Man. No. Uh huh. Nope, oh, she's been man. here in a few days since we've saw her postcard sitting there garbage. eating mangoes. Oh, wow. Cool. She thinks that they're for her. So every garbage? time that she goes out to the bathroom, she goes and grabs herself a mango. Oh, oh too much. Like 20 minutes. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the other day what was my favorite concert of all time. And I couldn't figure it out. It's, <laughs> it's a mix between the Victory Tour that's the Jackson Five mm-hmm. went on tour. Oh, cool! Yeah, like the real Jackson Five. The real Jackson Five <laughs> and Led Zeppelin. Sweet. In '77. Wow! Oh oh, cool. I think I have that shirt somewhere. I was wearing it yesterday. It's dirty. <laughs> so, what, what could be the best one of those? Zeppelin, both huh? of those. I mean, th- those are like that's tough to choose. They're both the iconic. Very iconic. I mean, it has to be Led Zeppelin. Well, yeah. Hello. God. Yeah, I would say. I love Zappa in '84. Holy crap! That would be a bomb. What was that? The Melon Zappa? No, Mowgli said Zappa. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. In '84. Chevy went to it. Yes, uh, 1991 was good. Revolving stage. Freaking yes. Wow. Yes was like phenomenal live. It's a good it's Michael Jack's favorite band of all time. Uh, who? Wow, the uh, who? Who? $15. You'll never see that ever in your lifetime again. That leopard. That's an old one. Hell yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Coldplay. This is one of my favorite concerts. Coldplay mm. was amazing. Wow. Hi, Friction. Oh, that must have been awesome, Swaggy. So can you really get drunk off of uh, flavorings? Yeah. I mean, Uh-oh. Uncle unless Daddy they have alcohol just- base and you drink like five gallons of it. <laughs> Look at seven seven dollars and fifty cents for a concert. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Linda. Hi, Scott. I have to find mine now. Swaggy so says the free concert that Metallica did in San Jose um, at Tower Records. What year was that? That's what I want to know. Further concert. Was it like before Metallica sucked? I've never heard of Further. Like pre-1992. Oh. <laughs> I never got into the Grateful Dead. I can't believe it. I mean, I was a hippie back then. Well, oh, yeah. I was a hippie and a jock at the same time. <laughs> it was a cross. It was a cross. Hello. I was a crossover. <laughs> Those are usually the best. Okay. Crossed over. I got along with both both uh, entities. Damn I'm not straight. the hugest Dead fan, but there's a couple Carole. Dead fan- songs that are really good. Like Box of Carole Rain is like one of my favorite songs of all time. Carol King. Oh, shit. I love That would have been awesome, man. I, I, do, uh, I used to do It's Too Late in my acoustic set. In my oldies, oldies segment. 
<laughs> the one concert I've seen like a thousand times is Melissa Etheridge. Go watch. No way. <laughs> you? I've seen I would her never probably believe that. about Run 20 to times my at least. Window. <laughs> at least 20 times, oh, if not know. more. <laughs> Let's do this, Scott. I'm a musician. Are you a musician? <laughs> you gotta admit it. Come on. Here's my Frank Zappa <laughs> concert oh. ticket. I don't, I don't think I ever nice. saw Zappa. 1980. This was one of my favorite yeah, shows. Swag. The Millen, Roger Waters. Never heard of him. Pink Floyd. Oh, Pink oh, Floyd. Yeah. Ario Speedwagon was one of my first concerts ever when I was like a little kid. Came I love like one, of, one of the fairs here. And I was like, hey, I kind of know these songs. I was like, <laughs> who was this? I was like, wow, Ario Speedwagon. Oh, hell yeah. And, that would be great. <laughs> he like played the uh like the fair, like the like whatever it was. I like saw Air Supply fair. at the fair. They were that's fabulous. cool. Yeah, they have some great songs. Fabulous. My aunt Diane's favorite band of all time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. She makes me freaking sing their songs all the time and I cannot remember any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know they have. Lost in love. And That's I'm one. Alive. And then oh yeah. I'm a lot of love. I'm so lost without you. Yep. Here's a good one though. Super tramp. She loves them and freaking lover boy. Wow. <laughs> you know what my first concert was? It was the Osmonds. Oh, oh my God. wow. Donnie and Marie? No, the Osmonds brothers. Like the, the, the brother, like, singing. Oh. Yeah. The whole they family, had, right? Yeah, the whole family. Before, uh, before wow. they were a little bit country and a little bit rock well, and roll. I was watching reruns, but yeah. No, it was before that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember this was a really bad night. <laughs> oh, this oh, it was. I would have liked nice. six. No, I never made it in the show. That's why it was a bad night. Oh, oh. no, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh Kiss and weird. Bob Seeger. That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Amber's laughing at me saying oh. air supply. They're a good band. Hell yeah. Wrote some catchy ass songs. Pretty sure they're Australian too, aren't they? Air Supply? I thought they were. Air Supply. Where the frick are you from? Yeah, they're Australian. $2. Holy shit. Graham Russell and Russell Hitchcock. (laughs) New kids on the block. Nice, Amber. New kids on the block, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that was a a fun-ass show. (laughs) Oh, she's shaming me, and her first concert was New Kids on the Block. Come on, everybody, if you want to take a chance. So get on the floor and do the New Kids dance. (laughs) (laughs) Hanging tough. Are you tough enough? (laughs) That shit was, like, super popular when I was a kid. I friction. Thankfully, my sister had way better taste. <laughs> oh, heart. Queen Honey Bunny, those heart, they're so good in concert. My dad's favorite band of all time. Heart and Rush. My dad's two favorite bands. <laughs> I never oh, would have thought a tequila would yeah. be good. At Boston Gardens, wow, I had to be cool. Wow, yeah. Speaking of Boston, I saw Boston a couple years ago. That was awesome. They were so hot in the day. I mean, you could even get tickets to that sh- their shows. Hmm. I bet you Mandalorian's going crazy because he's just going nuts because he's been wanting to go to a concert for so long. Aw. He must not be in chat. Oh, that's awesome, Kristen. I don't even want to hear about that. I'm in a band. I've been wanting <laughs> to play a show for like forever i i feel like my birthday which is in august is going to come around before we actually get a chance to play a damn show so i'm just going to have to have do what i did last year and just invite the band over and just play all day and just get trashed (laughs) make sure i'm off that weekend Uh uh-oh friction has a blown fuse blown circuit breaker Uh uh-oh hell yeah amber greatest band of all time in my opinion 
Beatles. Uh huh. So good. Mmm. This is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> It'll take a couple days probably. Better. It'd be a fun show, Amber. Meatloaf. Oh, that would be a blast. I, I love to... shows that do a, like a, like a stage act too. You know, like a whole theatrical performance. But Slipknot's yes. awesome. <laughs> I just watched a little bit of um, Rocky Horror Picture Show the other night. Oh, cool! To bring back memories of college. Yeah. yeah have have you ever been to a live back. performance? I'm yelling at the TV and stuff. <laughs> we, we went to a live performance, a big group of us, like 10 years ago, and I got pulled up to sing and dance with the uh, with the chorus and shit during the uh, Time Warp song. And I was like, this is awesome. Right. On. <laughs> yeah, because they grab just grab random people, you know, from the crowd and, and make them, you know, it's like if you don't, you're a loser. You you have to. Yeah. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell, yeah, I'll go up there. Again, yeah, I'm only quite a fan oh, back in the awesome. day. Oh, cool. I would have loved to seen the Bee Gees. Oh, man. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Are the Beach Boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Bee Gees, the Bee Gees, that's what the Bee Gees sound like to me. The Beach Boys <laughs> put on a quite the show. They are quite uh, magical. Oh, yeah. They all sing. They all play everything. Santana, now that's a band you oh. want to see right there. He is just Carlos, oh. baby. I'm just an old hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely one of my influences on the guitar. Santana. Carlos Santana for sure. Mm-hmm. You ever see him, Adam? No, not live. Nope. Like to. It's a cool guy. Yeah, he's got magic fingers. Hi, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had a backstage pass? <laughs> Ow! Uh, I actually did. <laughs> my door. Nice. <laughs> a friend of mine's father had like could always get backstage passes for us, and so we would always be backstage to all these concerts. Oh, that's awesome! Sitting just like right off the wing of the stage, and it was just amazing to watch these performers. Just amazing. Queen would have been amazing. I never got to see them. Wow. Oh, that would have been amazing, yeah. Mozzie Star at Shoreline. Yeah, it was Maisie. We saw Maisie, Maisie Star with... Uh, I don't know Maisie Star. With, um. oh, God. Fuck. I have a very <laughs> short timeline of music, I think. We saw Maisie Star with the the tubes, with oh, the Evil. tubes. I saw the tubes at um, Winterland on their last performance at Winterland before it closed. Wow! Quaaludes for life, <laughs> 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 and they were going out into the audience and say, "I need someone with big titties." <laughs> Big titties. Some ladies out there, I've got big titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love the old days. It was funny. I'll never forget that. Obviously, I didn't forget it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, Chris and I ran across my old Triumph ticket. I don't know what year it was, though. I was so pumped so, to see Triumph, and then that one song I really liked, they didn't sing because it was a collab with somebody else. No. Oh, darn. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac was awesome. I got to see so many shows at the Oakland Coliseum. They had a thing called A Day on the Green, and uh, it was like five or six or seven headliners on Sundays, and like the tickets were twelve fifty, fifteen dollars, so super affordable. And you got to see all these, all these bands. Well, back in the day, I mean, that was like two full tanks of gas, maybe three tanks of gas, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It's like, Ma, can I go? You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
and get her to drop you off and pick you up. It was it was uh, quite the times. Yeah, Blue Oyster Cult. I remember seeing them. I, it's just amazing how many I got to see. Yeah, I was really lucky too. Well, you were lucky to be in that good spot where all the all the shows would come to. Yeah, in the how, Bay Area. Yeah. yeah, that's how Buffalo was too, because Buffalo was all the bands would come to Buffalo. Yeah, yeah you got to be in a spot to. where they come to. Yep. So this uh, margarita candy tequila thing is pretty damn good. Yeah. I never thought I would like a tequila vape. And look at you now. But I wonder if I'm out here vaping on the street driving, if the cop says, have you been drinking? No, sir. Just vaping tequila, sir. <laughs> uh, step out of the car, ma'am. Yeah, well, probably... just walk in a straight line and you won't have any problems. <laughs> right. Who can walk in a straight line? Tell me. Can you? <laughs> Nah, I'm Sorry about that. My neighbor was at the door. Nobody oh, ever wow. knocks at my door at this time. Just wanted to give me a sample of something. It's legal <laughs> in my state. Yeah, that's a Peter Frampton. That's how this whole conversation got started. Yeah, and now we're back to the beginning. Yeah, because we started. Do you old, feel? Old circle. <laughs> I do. Frank and Miser. See ya. Were we talking about Mazzy Star? Yeah. I missed that whole conversation, didn't I? Yeah, you were at the neighbors. I love that song. Her one song, her one hit. Oh, it's actually a they. She's not Mazzy Star. Her name is Hope Sandoval. <laughs> I met her, by the way. She was super nice. She's very uh quiet. She's like, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, Linda. Nice to meet I, you. I You're get... beautiful. <laughs> I didn't get to see Pink Floyd, but I got to see Roger Waters, but yeah, he did Dark Side of the Moon from start to finish. It was amazing. Oh, my God. Wow. Awesome. I that never, ever cool. thought I'd, I'd get to hear a clip live. It was amazing. Yeah, Jesus. I, think I know, like, every song on that album on guitar. Almost, I feel like. One of those albums. As a guitar player, you just want to be like David Gilmore. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Ed. Yeah, he is definitely a big influence on like the little lead playing that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Not really like a shredder, more of a Be songwriter. I know it sucks now. You know, the older I get, the 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 more people and music that you know you lose. Yeah, yeah. That, that we grew up with. Yeah, like I wonder what. Uh... Rolling Stones looks like <laughs> Mick Jagger. They're still rolling. They're they're touring. I, I thought they said they're going to tour. Oh my god! And I just want to read that too. Now. How Might old is well. he now? Eighty. Oh god, He's pushing eighty. Uh, yeah. yeah, they got to be getting close. Because the Beatles were all born in the early forties. And they're around the same age, if not a little bit older than the Beatles, I think, maybe. Oh, let's find out. Got that, car that Paul McCartney concert that... Uh... Mick Jagger, age 77. He's wow. born in 43. So he is the same age as Paul. Hi, Scott. No, Paul was born in 42. Sweet, Scott. Night, Kristen. Good night, Kristen. Yeah, I gotta work early in the morning too, so I'm about to jump off too. So, so Kristen's leaving. We're all leaving. That's it. No, I'm just <laughs> Man, no now the party's down. We might as well just go. That's it. Kristen's out. That, you know we're not gonna have any more fun now. And I just <sighs> can't. I can't do this without her. So we're just gonna have to call it a night and be happy with the time that we spent together. That's right. Well, we got our tequila to put us to bed a little exactly. bit. Exactly. I got my tequila. Tequila to kill you. <laughs> and that that'll get me to sleep <laughs> and that's it that that's it so everybody thank you so much for being here we really really appreciate it we look forward to these mondays believe it or not it really makes our week start off great because this is the first day of my my work week um and we really appreciate everybody being here with us and the talk and just chatting and we get to hang out we get to mix a little bit we just get to be together and there's no rules you know what i mean it's not like you 
have a set agenda and you can't be yourself and you can't bring up different things. It's free talk here. So we can talk about anything that's on your mind. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. We love each and every one of you. Thank you, everybody on the panel for being here with us. We love you to death. And we will see you next Monday, same time, hopefully a little bit earlier, like that five minutes. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to be on time. <laughs>